Hi everybody, I'm Miro. Welcome to the 12th part of my series about ASP.NET Core 2. In this part, we will finish our repository by implementing our generic I repository interface and also all their weighted interfaces. So, let's start. Go to our project, right click on data, add new folder and name it repository. Great. Create new class with Ctrl Shift A and I will name it also repository. And hit the add button. This class have to be generic and have to inherit from I repository. We are missing reference, so add using library management course data and interfaces. And we have to write also constraint on this T, so where T is a class. You can generate dumb implementation with right click on the interface, quick actions, and implement interface. And now there are all the empty functions what we need to implement count, create, delete, and so on and so on. But before we start, we will need the library db context. So I will just add new field, protected, read only, and the library db context. I will name it context. Well, now we need to get this context somehow. And for this is common to use dependency injection. This means for now that this class will be not responsible for creating this instance, but someone outside this class will be. And this will be work for the dependency injection mechanism, which is already built in ASP.NET Core 2. I will spend one whole video about dependency injection in ASP.NET Core. For now it's enough to create a constructor which will take an instance of library DB context as an argument and store it in this field. So type CTOR, tap tap, and copy this one. And then save it to the context field. And there you go. I like to use one more method, but to achieve our goal, it's not necessary. I create protected save method, so I don't have to repeat this code. Now we can take a look at all our repository methods. So now I will speed this up so you don't have to watch me typing and then we will review the solution. And as always, you can find the source code on GitHub. I will provide the link in the description. Now when we will count the elements like books or authors, we will pass and delegate from outside and this will determine which elements do we search and then count them. For creating, you just pass the entity, I will add this object to the context and then save. Removing is really easy, you just remove this entity from context and save. Find is really similar to the count method, we will pass delegate from outside and then search with this delegate. Get all, we just get a set of entities and return this back. Get by ID, we just go to the current set and find this. This find method is searching by primer IDs. In the update method, we just change the state of the object and save it again. And now we can create auto repository. Great. Select the repository folder, Ctrl Shift A and name it auto repository. And hit the add button. All our specific repositories have to inherit from generic repository implementation and the current repository interface. I'll do this first without the generic repository so you can see the difference. Now I will inherit from the auto repository and add the using library management course data interfaces and create dummy implementation. And there are all the methods, but we already implemented create, delete, find, and so on and so on. So delete this dummy implementation and inherit from generic repository. And the type is author. When I now generate the dummy implementation, you see there are only two methods left. In the get all with authors, we need to load all authors and their books. You can achieve this with the include method. So let's check the solution, context and the authors set and include. We are missing one more using statement, using entity framework core. And now everything works. With the get with books, we have to do something similar. So we have to search first for the author with his ID and then load all these books. And the solution can look like this. First we search for the author within the where function, then include the books and load it. 
And now there is still this red line. We are missing constructor because this repository has no empty constructor. You can check it with alt F12 and there is it. To, to create instance of this repository, we need to go through this constructor. So let's create the constructor. C T O R tap tap. And we will need the same data type. So I copy paste this one and paste this to the base constructor. So I will close this one and save. And the first repository is done. And now we can create the book repository. Select the repository folder, Ctrl Shift A and type book repository. And hit the add button. And this has to inherit also from a repository with type book and the iBook repository. Great, there are three methods to implement. So find with author, I will load books and authors and filter by this predicate. So we are missing one more uh, using statement. So click on this line, hold control point and using Microsoft Entity Framework Core. Now find with author and borrower, we will load the books and their authors and the books borrower and then filter by the predicate. Now I will paste the solution, it's really easy. And we are missing only one get all books with their authors. We are still missing the constructor. You can select the class, press control point and enter. And the constructor is generated for you. So save. And the last one is customer repository. So select the repository folder, control shift A, name it customer repository. And hit the add button. You have to inherit like in the previous two repositories. And this class will be pretty empty. The only line within this class will be the constructor. And this will be everything for now. In the next video, we will take a look at dependency injection. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you have not subscribed yet. And see you in the next video.